Hey Math 43, Miss A here. Welcome to week three. I want to cover a couple of things from last week and then kind of unpack what's in this announcement. So the discussions last week, they were awesome. Your graphs were great. Thank you for that. And the feedback you left your fellow classmates was wonderful. Thank you for putting that effort in. I really just enjoyed seeing all of that. Um, in terms of these discussions, you saw me kind of holding back in terms of giving answers out because I really want you to use your group mates, right? I want you to get to know those folks. So take a look at that discussion board, see if there's some people in there that you think, well, they gave me good feedback. Maybe I can work with them as the semester progresses because I want you to have a whole slew of resources, right? You've got me, you've got the STEM Center, but see if you can pick up a couple of, of, of classmates that you can reach out to if you have a question. It's always good to build that bench up. So I, I hope that we start to use discussions for that. You'll have slightly smaller discussion groups this week rather than your entire class as one. Um, we also turned in our homework, which looked great for the most part. Um, just a reminder, please do the homework problems in the order that I wrote them and, and use the numbers from the book that I gave you. Don't renumber them. That helps me on, on the grading side of things. And also just a reminder, that there are screencasts for certain problems. You'll find them in step five of the instructions. So don't forget that some students previously have already asked questions and I've made screencasts for those so that you can see those getting answered and use that as a resource. All right, in terms of what's in this announcement, if you look below, there's some solutions that I'm posting. It's the chapter one homework, the discussion key, and then something called a summary keynote. Take a look at the chapter one homework. Compare my answers to your answers and see if they match. And if they don't, see if you understand the differences, right, and fix it. And if you still have questions, come to office hours, send me a remind text, reach out to a classmate that you met on a discussion board, right? Get those questions answered as soon as you can. If you look at my discussion key, that would have been the graph I would have made if I was a student doing this graph on that discussion board. There's also something called summary keynotes. Keynotes are just the Mac version of a PowerPoint. So I made slides. Uh, summarizing each chapter uh, and then I, I went ahead and I made screencasts for those so you can look at the file all by itself or you can look at the screencasts now a couple of the chapters are long that's why I broke them into two the screencast into two parts and chapter one is is part of that so so that's what we got um, on there and then below those solutions is our problem of the week so if you wanted some more practice that's not tied to homework or a quiz or anything on the announcement, you'll see I'll, I have at least one problem of the week and on the announcement, it's just the problem. If you go to the home page, you'll see the problem and the solution posted out. There's no screencast for that, but it's still good practice. And just as a side note, if you go to the home page, you can see all of the, uh, if you're on the web browser, the most recent announcements are on the top. That doesn't happen on the app. The app is not as strong as the web browser. And I hope you have notifications on for your announcements anyways, but that's just another way to get them. And then to wrap up, um, last week's Padlet, we were talking about tips for online learning. And by far the, the most common suggestions were time management and organization. And I agree, like that, I, I think you do need that when you're taking an online class. I think it can be very easy to just push things off because you are online and it's asynchronous, so you want to stay on top of those things. Um, this week, we're going to go back to the high-low. So, you know, as you're going through this class, you're going to get to a point where something doesn't make sense or you get frustrated, and some of you might already be like, yeah, I'm there already. And so I want you to just put those topics on that Padlet, and I'll, I'll look, oh, I can't use my words, I'll look through those, and then I'll see what I can, like, kind of like glean from that or glean I think is the word I'm doing really good with my words at the end of this and then maybe make some kind of problem of the day or a screencast I'm not sure this is still new for me so I'm learning um, with you guys so that's what the Padlet is there for and I, I keep looking at those every day um, just to stay current on them so so that's what I got I hope you are doing well um, and I hope you have a fantastic week three come by office hours I love when students come to office hours it's the best all right I'll talk to you soon bye